Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. The Witcher on Netflix is currently dealing with a number of issues, but one project from this universe has a flawless score and demonstrates how the series may be salvaged. When The Witcher was launched on Netflix in 2019, it quickly rose to prominence because of the success of the video games and novels. However, despite its continued popularity, the quality of the series has been deteriorating. Despite the backlash and controversy over the numerous departures from the original storyline in The Witcher Season 2, particularly in Yennefer's Anya Chilotra tale, the universe continues to grow. Before the third season of the main series premiered, The Witcher received an animated spin-off film and a prequel miniseries. However, the miniseries had a negative impact on The Witcher universe. The Witcher Season 4 is facing the toughest struggle to date with its Geralt of Rivia recast, putting the series' future at risk, despite the fact that Season 3 corrected some of the biggest faults of Season 2 and was much more faithful to the original material. On the other hand, one of the media's spin-offs from Twitch, which has a perfect rating on Rotten Tomatoes and is popular with viewers, demonstrates how the franchise can be salvaged. In 2020, while the main series was between seasons, Netflix released the animated spin-off movie The Witcher, Nightmare of the Wolf. The movie took the audience many, many years before Geralt's time as a famous witcher and instead focused on his mentor, Vesemir, voiced by Theo James. Nightmare of the Wolf follows Vesemir as he goes on a mission that changes his perspective on being a witcher and on life in general while also showing parts of his childhood before he traveled to Kaer Morhen to become a witcher. As a way to tie into the main series, Nightmare of the Wolf ends with the introduction of a young Geralt as Vesemir takes a group of children slash young witchers under his wing. Nightmare of the Wolf was a success with critics and viewers, with the former giving the movie positive reviews and high scores on different sites. On Rotten Tomatoes, Nightmare of the Wolf has a 100% score from critics and 83% from the audience, while The Witcher currently has an 80% score from critics and a 54% score from the audience. The prequel miniseries The Witcher, Blood Origin has the worst score in both categories with 28% from critics and 13% from the audience, making it the biggest failure in The Witcher franchise to date. Nightmare of the Wolf was different from what The Witcher had brought, and that was key to its success. A different format brought some freshness to the universe of The Witcher, and though there were some worries about how the movie would attract the audience's attention without Geralt of Rivia, Nightmare of the Wolf had an exciting and engaging story that proved this universe can survive without focusing on Geralt. Nightmare of the Wolf knew how to build up tension and paid off every one of its teases and moments of foreshadowing and it didn't shy away from graphic scenes and intense action sequences. Nightmare of the Wolf also succeeded at adding to the universe of The Witcher and expanding it, and it arrived at the perfect time. The Witcher Season 2 finally introduced Vesemir, and releasing Nightmare of the Wolf before Season 2 premiered allowed the audience to get acquainted with the legendary Witcher and see why he's such an important figure in Geralt's life. The animated format also gave Nightmare of the Wolf the creative freedom that the live-action format can't, allowing it to go all the way with its fantasy and magic elements. Though the main focus of the series should still remain The Witcher, Netflix should focus more on animation series instead of creating additional live-action spin-offs like Blood Origin. The prequel miniseries, with its disjointed tone, unappealing characters, and disorganized plot, was a forgettable miniseries that failed to address some of the most pressing problems surrounding the Witcher universe. The fall of the Witcher universe may be reversed with more animated content set in the same setting as the main TV series, allowing for the exploration of a wider range of stories. An animated adaptation of the short story, A Little Sacrifice, titled The Witcher, Sirens of the Deep, is already in the works for the Witcher franchise. The story of Sirens of the Deep, which takes place in between episodes 5 and 6 of The Witcher Season 1, centers on Doug Cockle's character Geralt, who becomes embroiled in a centuries-old dispute between merpeople and the people living in a seaside community. Sirens of the Deep seems to be following the steps of Nightmare of the Wolf in terms of action, and if it repeats its popularity, 
Netflix might consider paying more attention to generating animated content from the Witcher's universe rather than making more. Stay with us and please subscribe my channel to get update news of the Witcher show.